head in to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Jamila. I really am gonna miss this incredible view, but I'm excited to get back on the road. This is precisely why we wanted to do a road trip. Honestly, it's insane. <gasps> oh, hot. And welcome to Jamila. This is incredibly impressive. The city of bridges, Constantine. I am definitely going to miss these views. Good morning for the last time from the mountain tops, the green luscious mountain tops of Bijaya on the Algerian Mediterranean. Today we are continuing our road trip across this ginormous country and we are heading to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Jamila. Who even knew Algeria had such famous, well probably not so famous, well preserved Roman ruins dating back almost 2,000 years. I think it is around a four hour drive and we might stop off for lunch in the city of Satif on the way. Again, this wouldn't be possible without our friends from Fancy Yellow. Me driving all across Algeria, it's a no-go. But uh, I'm gonna take in the views of the luscious green mountains of Bijaya for the last time and then get on the road. Let's head to the Roman ruins of Algeria. Yalla. I really am gonna miss this incredible view, but I'm excited to get back on the road. I really think that it was like the best decision to go through and drive it. Rather than get on public transport where they get on like the highways, you get to experience the country a lot more. And also, people's faces are priceless. I mean, when you pull up in some of the bigger towns, they're like surprised to see you. But then when you pull up in the small towns or the villages, spectacle. everyone is just completely shocked. It's so funny. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is precisely why we wanted to do a road trip across Algeria. Because if you fly, you skip everything that is in between the roads between Bijaya and Jamila are out of this world. We have just gone through the tunnel, through the mountain face, and we've come out the other side, and it is revealed, we're literally on a mountain road with trucks flying behind, the most incredible views of the dam behind. Look at this, I think this is the Ig, Ig Hill something dam, but that is out of this world with the mountains behind. Algeria it's, it is Algeria is just so vast. There's so many different landscapes. If we flew, we would have never seen this. One of the most beautiful views you'll find anywhere in the world. So this is actually a hydroelectric dam, so it kind of like powers all of the surrounding villages. And I don't know why. Like why are dams always so beautiful? Like, you wouldn't just... think something man-made would be this nice. Honestly, it's insane. And it's actually called Ig Hill, Ig Hill Emda, I think. My pronunciation is not good, but that's the name of the dam. After about three hours on the road, we just made it to Al Mar, the commercial town of the east. Supposedly everyone comes here to buy their goods, their electrics, even all the way from Tunisia. And this is where we're having our lunch. This is like the Avito Cafe. And can I just say, I know my hair looks a mess, but this is the reality of driving on the Algerian road. The reality of you sleeping. With the windows on and the me roads. sleeping. <laughs> This is posh, but we've noticed so far in Algeria, it's very hard to find traditional Algerian food. Apparently the best place to find it is in Constantine. If not, most people go out. They don't want to eat Algerian food because they say they cook the best Algerian food at home. So the best Algerian food is from their mum, from their nan, but there's lots of different dishes 
but unfortunately not Algerian. Yeah, I've ended up with uh, spaghetti bolognese. We have got one yeah. Algerian dish kind of coming on the way, um, but the rest of it is just like lots of meat, rice and potatoes. Um, and yeah, no traditional Algerian food yet. It's basically a three in one of a fancy restaurant. The other side we have a cafe and then out the back, I think they're building a swimming pool. <laughs> I would love a little dip right now. I can't tell you how hot it's it is. It's random at the moment. for a tiny little town to have a place like this. It's really random. It's just on the side of the road as well. Hi. Very good. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm you. Very good. I'm excited to see how you make the coffee. Thank you, Saha. So this is the Algeri I'm going to say the Algerian style. I've never seen it before. They just pump away and then you get... Oh, it's strong. Oh, it's very strong. But I was saying, I've never seen coffee made this way. They, they pump. Instead of just pushing or inserting, they pump away to press all the beans and get your espresso. I'm impressed. For a tiny town, village, <laughs> they've got possibly the fanciest restaurant we've been to so far in all of... That's true, actually. Algeria. And to start, we have... I don't know. Maybe an Algerian pastry? It's a pastry with olives, Listen, tomato... Listen, you're in Algeria, so we'll call it an Algerian pastry. Yeah, some sort of... I'm just going to bite it. Oh, it's good. <laughs> It's basically like a pizza. They're obsessed with pizza. They really there. are. Everything that's not Algerian. It's pizza. <laughs> okay, we are eating and drinking slightly traditional. We have a Hamoud, the Algerian Sprite. That is actually really, really nice and refreshing. And then we have the Burek. So this is rolled pastry, stuffed. You can have it stuffed with a few different things. This particular one is cheese and meat. And if you go, prawns, unreal. If you go down by the seaside, it'll be prawns, but now we have meat. Oh my god, hot. Wow, the cheese. Their cheese out here is so good. It's so hot, so I can't really taste anything, but I think it tastes really good. <laughs> That's outrageous. All of that food come to 840 dinar. So Molly had a spaghetti that we didn't film. Two barrette, one pastry, one coffee, four hamoud, and that was 840 centimeters. About three pounds fifty in a fancy restaurant, but now we're fueled, we're ready, and I think we have about an hour's drive to the ancient city of Jamila. And welcome to Jamila. It was actually only a half an hour drive from our lunch spot, um, and I'm very excited to explore. I want to introduce you to our local guide today, who is Bilal. One thing I love about Fancy Yellow is they always choose a local guide. So you are from Constantine? Yes, yeah, so I'm from Constantine, so I am. And he's going to be taking us around for the next few days, so we have an expert from the East. <laughs> So Jamila is built in a great Roman grid plan, an urban layout of Jamila encompassing all of this area. So welcome to Jamila, one of the highlights of Algeria and this was one of the main reasons we wanted to do the tours with Fancy Yellow, being that you need pre-approved access to even come to here, up to a week in advance. So you'd not be able to come here on your own, you'd have to do a tour and we're starting in a blooming museum. We don't normally do museums, but you can see that here they've removed a lot of the mosaics from the ancient city and they've put them on the walls to preserve it all the way around 360 degrees and they are just incredible they've been preserved so well i love this one they're depicting the scene of the romans arriving in africa hunting the lions to take them back to the Colosseum. and just outside the museum you can get an unbelievable panoramic view of this ancient city. So entrance is 130 dinar, which is around 50 pence, and we pretty much have the whole Roman the ruin Rome. site to ourselves. I think that is just mind blowing, and look at this view. This is incredibly impressive, not just the Roman ruins, but the fact that you are surrounded by the lush 
green countryside of Algeria. This actually dates back to 96 AD and it was built for the Roman war veterans. Over 46 hectares, did you say? 42 hectares. Wow, over 42 hectares. It's huge, it's hot. And like Molly said, we pretty much have the entirety of this place to ourselves. This is why you need to come to Algeria. We're actually starting backwards in time. Firstly, in the Christian quarter, which is about like the fourth or fifth century. This actually was the cathedral and the animal mosaics that we saw inside the museum were actually laid on this floor. So you have to use your imagination. What you saw in there is what this would have looked like. What a place for it. All right, welcome to the Severian temple dedicated to Septimus Severus and his wife, Julia Domina in 229 when this was built by Alexander Severus. So after they died, they became deities and the temple was dedicated to this family. If this was Rome or this was Greece, you would be surrounded by a lot of annoying tourists, of tour groups. But at this moment in time, we are pretty much, I think we could be the only people in the entire complex. It's kind of peaceful. It's tranquil. The rolling green hills in the distance. A beautiful Roman temple behind me. Welcome to Gemila, the beautiful one. Caesar Sancta Curbis Roma Augustus, nom ligatum sant aquiculitanorum missit, sinatorum publium quintilium bilelum. <laughs> so Bilal is a little bit of a show off. He can speak seven languages, including Latin, which he taught himself during that two, three years that we don't like to talk about anymore. But this is the main theatre dating back to around 190 AD. And this used to hold up to 3,000 people who would probably perform a little bit like Bilal in fluent Latin. You're making me feel terrible. Seven languages, we're lazy. Us British people, we're lazy. Yeah. Of all the impressive theatres, temples i think we have found my favorite part of the ancient roman city this was the public toilet so you come here sit on your little hole or whatever you're at would this be for men or women or both i have no idea about the segregation <laughs> we're not sure whether it was segregated or not but obviously if you're sitting down on a man you have a number two or you could come over you could stand up we've look at the view i mean Imagine standing here, having a wee, with views like this. I'm jealous. From toilets to the main road, Cardo Maximus. Is that your Latin or whatever it was? I now speak two languages. <laughs> it's really, really impressive. I will tell you though, it is so hot. I don't know what's happened. Like the temperature has just soared. So we're walking around here and we're just like, wow, any bit of shade. Right now the street doesn't have any shade though. Can you hear that in the distance? The villages around us, the call to prayers is happening. Wow, it's the most perfectly, I think we've ever heard it and that there's no one around us and it shows that you're in the old Roman ruins. And then you've got probably one of the newly built mosques in the village. Wow. Oh my goodness, cheers. Cheers, this is unbelievably needed. The Roman ruins are incredible but it is we picked a day that's too hot. I don't know what's happened. The weather has completely changed, but the Casa Cornet. Algerian Cornetto. Oh, so good. Thank you. Saha. Saha, cheers. We have finally made it to the beautiful city of Constantine, the city of eight bridges one of which you can see behind me we've just checked in to our hotel i'm not going to show you too much because we are very excited to show you tomorrow we've got a ice cold i was going to tell you it was an algerian beer but unfortunately it's a heineken um this, so like this city, is the only place to get a beer in the city i was city. just about to say this city is a conservative city so you can get it in the hotels cheers 
It's been a long day. It's been a long day and it's well needed, well deserved. Wow, what an incredible view. I cannot wait to explore this city tomorrow, but it's been an incredibly long day, almost 12 hours on the road. So this tastes even better. And I know I keep banging on about it, but if you're coming to Algeria and you want to see unique destinations like Jamila, fancy yellow are the people to go with, honestly. We'd have never been able to see it. You need a tour company to see Jamila, to have one of the most incredible Roman ruins in the world all to yourself. And you've probably never heard of it, but we're gonna go and get some dinner, I think in the hotel today. I'm, I'm absolutely knackered. And then we have a full day tomorrow exploring the city of bridges, Constantine. We'll see you in the next one.